Mark Richard Shuttleworth, born the 18th of September 1973, is a South African entrepreneur who is the founder and CEO of Canonical Limited, the company behind the development of the Linux-based Ubuntu operating system. In 2002, he became the first South African to travel to space as a space tourist. He lives on the Isle of Man and holds dual citizenship from South Africa and the United Kingdom. Topic: <laughs> Early Life. Born in Welcome in South Africa's Orange Free State to a surgeon and a nursery school teacher, Shuttleworth attended school at Western Province Preparatory School where he eventually became head boy in 1986, followed by one term at Rondebosch Boys High School, and then at Bishop's, Diocesan College, where he was head boy in 1991. Shuttleworth obtained a Bachelor of Business Science degree in Finance and Information Systems at the University of Cape Town, where he lived in Smuts Hall. As a student, he became involved in the installation of the first residential internet connections at the university. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Work. In 1995, Shuttleworth founded Still Extant Thought Consulting, a company which specialized in digital certificates and Internet security. In December 1999, Thought was acquired by Verisign, earning Shuttleworth R3.5 billion $575 million, equivalent to $831 million in 2018. In September 2000, Shuttleworth formed HBD Venture Capital, here be Dragons, a business incubator and venture capital provider. In March 2004 he formed Canonical Limited, for the promotion and commercial support of free software projects, especially the Ubuntu operating system. In December 2009, Shuttleworth stepped down as the CEO of Canonical Limited, Jane Silber took Canonical CEO position. Shuttleworth resumed the position of CEO of Canonical in July 2017 at the end of Silber's tenure. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Linux and FOSS. In the 1990s, Shuttleworth participated as one of the developers of the Debian operating system. In 2001, he formed the Shuttleworth Foundation, a non profit organization dedicated to social innovation which also funds educational, free, and open source software projects in South Africa, such as the Freedom Toaster. In 2004, he returned to the free software world by funding the development of Ubuntu, a Linux distribution based on Debian, through his company Canonical Limited. In 2005, he founded the Ubuntu Foundation and made an initial investment of $10 million. In the Ubuntu project, Shuttleworth is often referred to with the tongue in cheek title self-appointed benevolent dictator for life SABDFL to come up with a list of names of people to hire for the project Shuttleworth took 6 months of Debian mailing list archives with him while traveling to Antarctica aboard the icebreaker Kapitan Klebnikov in early 2004 in September 2005, he purchased a 65% stake of MP Linux. On the 15th of October 2006, it was announced that Mark Shuttleworth became the first patron of KDE, the highest level of sponsorship available. 
This relationship ended in 2012, together with financial support for Kubuntu, the Ubuntu variant with KDE as main desktop. On 17 December 2009, Mark announced that, effective March 2010, he would step down as CEO of Canonical to focus energy on product design, partnership, and customers. Jane Silber, COO at Canonical since 2004, took on the job of CEO at Canonical. In September 2010, he received an honorary degree from the Open University for this work. On the 9th of November 2012, Shuttleworth and Kenneth Rogoff took part in a debate opposite Gary Kasparov and Peter Thiel at the Oxford Union, entitled. The Innovation Enigma. On 25 October 2013, Shuttleworth and Ubuntu were awarded the Austrian Anti Privacy Big Brother Award for sending local Ubuntu Unity searches to canonical servers by default. A year earlier in 2012, Shuttleworth had defended the anonymization method used. Topic: Spaceflight. Shuttleworth gained worldwide fame on the 25th of April 2002 as the second self-funded space tourist and the first ever South African in space. Flying through space adventures, he launched aboard the Russian Soyuz TM-34 mission as a spaceflight participant, paying approximately $20 million equivalent to $27,859,389 in 2018 for the voyage. Two days later, the Soyuz spacecraft arrived at the International Space Station, where he spent eight days participating in experiments related to AIDS and genome research. On 5 May 2002, he returned to Earth on Soyuz TM-33. In order to participate in the flight, Shuttleworth had to undergo one year of training and preparation, including seven months spent in Star City, Russia. While in space he had a radio conversation with Nelson Mandela and a 14-year-old South African girl, Michelle Foster, who asked him to marry her. He politely dodged the question, stating that he was very honored at the question, before changing the subject. The terminally ill Foster was provided the opportunity to have a conversation with Mark Shuttleworth and Nelson Mandela by the Reach for a Dream Foundation. Topic. Transport. He has a private jet, a Bombardier Global Express, which is often referred to as Canonical One but is in fact owned through his HBD Venture Capital Company. The dragon depicted on the side of the plane is Norman, the HBD Venture Capital mascot. Topic. Legal clash with the South African Reserve Bank Upon moving R2.5 billion in capital from South Africa to the Isle of Man, the South African Reserve Bank imposed a R250 million levy in order to release his assets. Shuttleworth appealed, and after a lengthy legal battle, the Reserve Bank was ordered to repay the R250 million, plus interest. Shuttleworth announced that he would be donating the entire amount to a trust which will be established to help others take cases to the Constitutional Court. 
On 18 June 2015 the Constitutional Court of South Africa reversed and set aside the findings of the lower courts, ruling that the dominant purpose of exit charge was to regulate conduct rather than to raise revenue. <laughs> 